What's up guys, Phil here today with the first video of, uh, of the year. So in this video I'm just going to be unboxing some stuff that I uh, bought. Uh, I just went to bought a pair of JBL earphones and a 4TB hard drive. I actually wanted to buy a 10TB hard drive but that was a bit too expensive. Here are the products in question. 4TB Western Digital Hard Drive and JBL earphones. I actually did have a pair of JBL headphones and I broke those but this is what I'm going to be unboxing today earphones and a hard drive so I hope you guys all enjoyed this video so let's get on to the unboxing okay so um, we're going to be unboxing this My Passport Western Digital 4TB hard drive and these JBL T110 black headphones so let's see what it says pure bass sound hands-free calls tangle free flat cable and yeah okay well it's a hard drive we already know what it does nothing special now i did have a knife here but i already did cut these things so let's just get on with it start there open it up here's the hard drive box in question now let's just open that okay white cable to match the color of the hard drive white instruction manual which i am not going to read i don't need to read an, an instruction manual on how to use a hard drive because i'm pretty sure that is self-explanatory so here we go it's actually kind of hard to believe that this here is four terabytes and it's also got some feature to help it from just sliding around it is sliding around but this is a glass table but it's not sliding around as much as if it was like that. So yeah, this is very good. I actually wanted to get a 10 terabyte hard drive, but that was far too expensive. It was a bit expensive. It was like 4,000 Rand. This was about 2,000. It actually goes pretty well with my other four terabyte hard drive. This is a Seagate hard drive. This is a Western Digital hard drive. I could have just bought another Seagate, but I was like, nah, let me get a Western Digital and i like the color so yeah so in total this is eight terabytes then i got another hard drive here this is only a, a, a one terabyte hard drive so this is nine terabytes then i got another one terabyte hard drive there but that is in a 3.5 inch uh external enclosure because i took it out of a pc so yeah there we go that is nine terabytes this year is the 3.5 inch hard drive that i was talking about so if i open here this is it i actually did make a video about about this i basically unboxed it and i put the hard drive in i'll probably link that video in the description down below but i'll just like to take a moment just to admire just how small hard drives have also got some yes i know that they are mvme hard drives those super small thin hard drives that are that are usually put in super thin laptops or sometimes high-end motherboards both of these hard drives but together they are eight terabytes and they are the size of one hard drive that is really 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 amazing there was also a 10 terabyte drive as i did mention that was a bit expensive so i just went for this one which is just a bit smaller but that one the downside of that one was that it was also a 3.5 inch drive so let me stop talking about hard drives now let me put these to the side let me open these uh jbl earphones the jbl t110 or 110 or 110 whatever the hell they are so open it like that instruction manuals jbl by harman um let me put those throw that that let me put that that side removable or interchangeable ear tips this is always welcome i love these type of things uh then you get the actual um earphones themselves now i do have wireless earphones but the thing with wireless earphones is that they are very 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 tedious you have to charge them then you also have to charge the case and sometimes while you're listening to music it might they might just uh die on you it, it, it's it's just annoying they are very convenient 
that you open them up you take them out they connect to your phone immediately and there's no wires no cables uh, nothing holding you back nothing tangling you but they didn't last that long i do plan on buying a pair of a uh, good pair of wireless um earphones later i do have a pair of bluetooth headphones i actually used to have a pair of jbl bluetooth headphones before i broke that the head strap i'm still pretty sad about that they sounded amazing these ear tips i got a feeling that i'm probably gonna change them at least they do come with interchangeable ear tips uh that is something i really do like a lot after all um these ear tips might not fit in someone else's ear so pretty good call and nice that they are included and my phone still does have a headphone jack so buying these things is not really a hindrance but i will buy a pair of wireless earphones i don't know probably jbl or sony's but these will work pretty well and just in general wired he wired earphones just sound better than wireless earphones unless you want wireless earphones to sound really really good you're gonna have to pay a, a premium but with wired they are still better than some wireless okay lower range cheaper wireless earphones but that's it for this unboxing so i guess i'm just gonna quickly clean everything up So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this unboxing of um, this and uh, these. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Actually, I also did buy a 64 gig micro SD card to put in my camera because the one in my camera had a right lock. So, if you do not know what a right lock is, a right lock basically means you can't delete anything that's already on the hard drive or basically the storage device in question if it has a write lock you cannot delete anything on it you can put stuff on it but you can't delete stuff off of it so when i put it in my camera because of the write lock it couldn't write anything to it so as it records it records to the sd card so it couldn't record any video to the sd card due to it having a right lock which i honestly do not know where the right lock came from now i thought that the right lock was of the micro sd card itself since i use micro sd cards and then i just put them in these sd cards in these sd card holders so for example here's a 16 gig sd card i'm not sure if you can see it so there you go i'll put this in here then i'll put this in the camera or i'll put it in my laptop but due to the right lock uh, i couldn't delete anything off of it i couldn't format it and the odd thing was the odd thing was was that it was the sd card reader itself the sd card holder this one in specific this one that i'm talking about right here this thing had the right lock now I don't know how this thing had the right lock. So every time I put a micro SD card into this SD card holder, they all would get a right lock. So when I put them in my laptop or I try to put in my camera to record, it wouldn't do anything. I couldn't delete anything off of it. And obviously, and obviously on the camera, it wouldn't write any video to it. So it wasn't the SD card itself. It was this SD card holder. This micro SD card holder. So I bought my new micro SD card thinking that it was the actual micro SD card itself that had the right lock and I could not remove the right lock. But it was this stupid thing. Uh, on my camera I use a, I still I'm still using that 32 gig micro SD card uh, with an SD card holder, a different one, so it doesn't have a right lock. And I just put the 64 gig in my phone because I desperately needed uh, storage. Uh, so uh, that's just basically extra information. So I don't know how this thing got a right lock. So if you ever put a micro SD card into one of these uh, and it does all of a sudden get a right lock out of nowhere, it probably is most likely this thing. I And I do not know how to remove a right lock. I've tried a lot of stuff and 
when I noticed something was up was when I put this in my phone, it formatted and it was perfect and I put the micro SD card into another SD card reader and it worked perfectly. So I think there's only one thing left for me to do now and that's break this one if I will be able to break it. I mean, I'm not that strong. This one did cause me some trouble and this problem did arise a few days ago um, before I started making this video because I remember I put the SD card into my brother's phone for me to send him some stuff and then I put it in my laptop into this um, reader yeah and then it just didn't want me to write I could copy stuff on it like your hard drive or SD card or you or USB flash does have a write lock you can still copy stuff onto the storage device in question it's just that you won't be able to delete anything off of it since it has a write lock. If you put it in a camera and it has a write lock, um, such as the camera that I'm using right now, my Canon, I could not record any video to that SD card. So that is just a little bit of extra information. I do not know if you people care or if you people were interested in that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for sticking this long. And I hope you guys enjoyed my first video of 2020 and hopefully there are more to come and much better content and improvement in content and just better production overall and I hope I get to make videos that I enjoy making and videos that you enjoy watching. And again, thank you for watching, thank you for sticking this long and peace.